You might be familiar with the impedance measurement of solid state materials, but how do they look like in liquids? In this video, we are going to present three different measurement scenarios. All these applications will be covered by an MFA impedance analyzer, a laptop, and third party electrode, probe, or dielectric fixture. A big challenge when measuring liquids is the lack of inherent geometric definition. When measuring solid state material, we can normalize the measured impedance to the geometric volume to obtain dimensionless parameters such as connectivity or permittivity. In liquid state, however, we will need electrodes, probes, or fixtures to define the geometry. So now I'm connecting the cables to the MFIA. Now I'm wiring to my electrode. I'm going to put my electrodes into this glass of olive oil. So here's the measurement with an interdigitated electrodes. An interdigitated electrode, in fact, is also frequently used to measure thin film materials. In solid state measurement, the materials are usually coated atop or laid underneath. In the liquid state, we only need to dip the electrode in. You may notice that we don't know the exact dimension, so we perform our measurement in air as our reference at first. And after running our first sweep inside our liquid interest, at like say here, we can then normalize to the earlier result to get the relative dielectric constant. Now I'm going to change the setup into a probe. Now I'm going to put my probe into this glass of water. A connectivity probe allows us to carefully define the geometry. More specifically, it allows us to define the cell constant or distance or error at one per centimeter, with which we can calculate the connectivity. Typical probes has a characteristic frequency at one kilohertz. So if we set the MFA frequency here, we can then just measure the impedance of this connective liquid and monitor how it changes over time. Divided the measured connectance to the cell constants gives us the connectivity in the unit of Siemens per centimeter. However, note that there are also other circuit elements, such as double layer capacitance, in this circuit. As such, this probe cannot be used for accurate loss measurement. Now I'm going to connect to the dielectric fixture. And now I'm lowering the electrodes to touch my liquid of interest. A dielectric fixture allows us to calculate the dielectric properties more accurately. The parasitic impedance between the parallel metal plate electrodes is low, and they're made in very high precision. And this allows us to get the dielectric properties in higher confidence. Using lab one, we can just get the dissipation factor as it is. And for the relative dielectric constant, we need to further normalize to the electrode error and thickness from this measured capacitance. There we have it, three different approaches to measure the impedance of liquids with the MFA. To quickly summarize, an interdigitated electrodes can be a quick way to evaluate the dielectric constant. A connectivity probe is good for measuring the connectivity at a fixed frequency. A liquid dielectric fixture offers an accurate measurement of the absolute dielectric constant, along with the dielectric allows. Thank you all for watching, and if you have any questions related to your impedance measurement, please feel welcome to contact us.